Hey, hey, look, I'm social, social camp peeps. I'm gonna wait for the eight seconds. But, yeah, look, we have some social camp mail right from Spain. From the beautiful little um, spicy mama. Um, the Iron Lady. Straight from Spain, baby. Um, yeah. So I'm not gonna say her real name because, like, oh, she likes to guard it. Um, yeah, like, what the, like, she likes to guard her name with an iron fist, you know, like, aka the Iron Lady. Um, that yeah, says, like, um, Chris, like, have a great one, my sweet friend. Have a wonderful time. Lots of love. Love. Or, like, what's it called? Lots of love, um, from me. And, like, um, um, I've been writing all day. You, know, you are a special friend. Um, lots of hugs. Like, um, the Iron Lady. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's in the year of 2013. So, like, this is the first piece of mail like, that I've ever gotten from Spain. But, yeah, it's, like, from the Iron Lady, like, straight up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like, um, thank you, like, the Iron Lady. And then, like, the, it went, the, thank you. And, like, you're awesome. Um, yeah, like, there should be, like, oh, some more stuff coming in because I gave my address out to a few people. So, um, <clears throat> feel bad because I don't normally uh, send out, um, uh, like, what's it called? Mm, I don't know why I've got Christmas cards. I've never sent one out in my life. Um, I feel bad because I'm getting mail from these people and I, I haven't sent anything out. But I'm going to do something here real soon. Um, it might not be a Christmas card, but I'll, I'll, like, um, send something out to all the people that, um, sent something to me. And like, uh, what's it called, like, Canadian, uh, the, the, like, like, a Canadian, uh, what's it called, a care package that will go out. Um, it won't be done until after the new year because I'm, I don't know, I'm super busy and I don't have and it was anybody's address, but I will do it and I will get back out to you. Um, yeah. Thank you, I'm the Iron Lady. Um... I'm going to use this as a check-in as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say I work today. Um, I don't know, nothing really went on that was, you know, special. But I read in the paper that someone from town actually... Um, yeah, okay. I'm say, I saw this individual last New Year's. I went to school with him. And he's half native, half white, right? And, um, last New Year's I saw him and I got into a fight with him because he had a um, swastika like, um, tattooed on his chest. And I started to get him, you know, like he was like flashing around the bar and stuff like that, like last New Year's. And I'm like, why do you have a um, swastika, like, you know, like, um, on your chest? He's like, oh, because blah, blah, blah. Like he started, like, I'm saying all this Aryan crap freaking bullshit, um, and like me and my best, and what's it called, it was, my best friend Justin, like he was sitting with another racist piece of shit, um, and yeah, like me and my best friend Justin, like we went out of our way to start shit with him, we ended up like fucking him up at the bar, and going back in and having some more drinks, but it's funny, like I, I like, I heard on the radio, the same guy that had the swastika, like on his chest, he went to jail. And um, over the radio, they said that he got, um, and what was it called, like, how did they word it? He got raped and, uh, raped and whatever, like he got like, um, brutally assaulted and raped, raped in jail. <laughs> Raw fucking, oh man, I wish it could have been there. Um, yeah, you know, when I heard that on the radio, like I cheered, man. So, yeah, um, yeah, like, I'm sorry, guys, just dessert. Like, he thought he was a tough guy. I'm like, you're half native and half white. You know what I mean? Like, the, first of all, like, you look like a fucking tool with a swastika on your chest, and you're a racist piece of shit. But, yeah, I mean, like, and what's cool, like, as far as I'm concerned, like, that was poetic justice. And, yeah, like, he got exactly what, what Lee, he deserved. And, yeah, like, I hope he regrets, like, getting that piece of shit symbol on his chest. 
for the rest of his life. And, yeah. But, you know, like, oh, that was just news. It was just ironic that I heard it on the radio. And, um, yeah. It's just too funny. You know what I mean? Like, he got his just desserts. Like, he thought he was like, so cool because he had a swastika on his chest. And me and Justin, you know, I fucked him and his friend up, like, last New Year's at the bar. And then he went to jail. And he got raped and brutally assaulted because of the fact. Um, yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned, like, you know, like, I don't know what I said before, like, there was, and it was, or, then, like, oh, but that was, like, oh, mm, poetic justice. Um, yeah, I probably should have a shirt on, but I just got out of the shower, I just got off of work, but, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, I'd like to wish everybody, and it was, like, like, happy day in social cam world, and, yeah, happy, happy Wednesday. Um, I don't know what you guys call it, hump day. Happy hump day.